Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pico de gallo nacho chicken. And I'm going to be making it in the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Alright, so to get started, I have two chicken breasts here. Now if you guys want to leave these the way they are, the cook time is going to be a little longer. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slice them and make them thinner. Alright, so I just sliced my chicken. I ended up with four thinly sliced chicken breasts. And if you notice, I just did these tiny little slices. This is just easier for me to check while the chicken's cooking to make sure it's cooking on the inside. Next, I have some taco seasoning and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on the chicken on both sides. And I'm just gonna rub that in the chicken. I'm gonna spritz with some avocado oil. Or you guys can use whatever oil you like. And the other side. I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna bring it into my flour. I'm gonna dip it in the flour. Just wanna make sure you get all the sides. All right. I'm gonna dip it in my egg wash. And I'm gonna toss it into my foodie basket. And I'm gonna do that three more times. So this is what we're looking like. They just fit, all four of them. And guys, after you do the egg wash, if you wanna do some breadcrumb, then go for it. I'm just doing more of a grilled chicken style for this recipe today. And we're gonna to toss these bad boys right in the foodie. All right, so now we're gonna turn on the foodie. You wanna make sure you're in the air crisp position. We're gonna change the temp. We're gonna go 375 and we're gonna change the time. I'm gonna go down to 15 minutes. Gonna hit start. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make some pico de gallo. So pico de gallo is really easy to make. We're just gonna use some tomatoes, onion, and I've got some cilantro. I'm gonna use cucumber today in mine because I have some in the fridge left over from a salad that I just made, and I love cucumber in my pico de gallo. All right, so I just went and cut everything into big chunks because I'm gonna be using my, uh, my Ninja food chopper. You guys wanna chop all this up by hand, then go for it, but I'm gonna cheat today and just use my food chopper. So everything's in there. I'm just gonna add some fresh cilantro on top. And whoop, I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice. You guys can use fresh lime, but I don't have any right now. So this is gonna do it. And then we're gonna chop. Done. And check it out, guys. You just made your own pico de gallo. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right guys, so back to the chicken, it's done. I'm gonna take a look. And that looks great. So now I'm just gonna grab my cheese. I'm just using a nacho blend shredded cheese for this. Let's sprinkle that on top. All right, so now I just changed the time to four minutes. I bumped up the temp to 390, and we're just gonna shut the lid, and we're gonna cook that, let the cheese melt for probably two minutes. All right, let's see how we're looking. All right, so now that it's starting to melt, I'm gonna add my pico de gallo. I'm going to spread that right on there. Just 
So here's what we're looking like. And now I'm gonna take some, uh, I got some Santa Fe tortilla strips. And I'm just gonna toss these right on top of all the chicken. And I'm gonna just top it off with a little more cheese. I'm gonna take some parsley flakes, throw that on just for, make it look pretty. I'm gonna shut the lid. And we're gonna let that keep going for the remaining two minutes. All right, so that's all done. Let's take a look. Guys, what do you think? I think it looks delicious. So I'm just going to take a spatula and I'm going to try to separate each piece before I try to take it out and plate it. All right, guys, so I just plated that up and this is what we're looking at. Pico de gallo nacho chicken. Doesn't that look great? So I'm just going to take a cut right into that, show you the inside. Cut straight down the middle. Does that look great? I'm gonna try it right now. Mmm. Guys, this is really good. All right, so I actually took another bite while you guys weren't looking. But this is it, guys. This is my recipe for pico de gallo nacho chicken. It's really, really good. You guys just have to try it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Click that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this one. Bon appetit, guys.